Babe, we should just really get an RV. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so um, apparently my video guys are like, this is a new thing that a lot of people are doing on YouTube where they watch a video and they react to the video or give their comments and they're like, Shane, you're an RV expert. You should watch this video and react to it. So this is gonna, instead of be a campfire rant today, this is gonna be a campfire react. We're up in the mountains. They didn't have a lot of times to edit something. So they wanted to try this new, tell me if you like it or if you think this is just ridiculous, but I've never seen this video. They just sent it to me and they're like, you should watch this video and react to it and we'll throw it online and see what people say. So. Um, I don't have any idea what to expect. So let's watch this together and talk about it. Hopefully what are you this talking about? Well. That's not real camping? Well, yes, it is. No, that's glamping. Whatever, not true. We're fine. Arvine the is tent awesome. is fine. I just have to tape up this one piece of canvas here. Besides, we already got a boat. We don't have any more room in the driveway. What's up, guys? DJ! Hey -o. Where have you been, man? Oh, dude, we've been everywhere. We went to Yellowstone, Yosemite, Quebec, Panama City. Oh. This is the new life, bro. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is so true. <laughs> Envy. Envy is one of the greatest drivers in the world. Everybody wants to keep up with the neighbor, the Joneses, right? This oh, is man, hilarious. that sounds awesome, but I bet you're glad to finally be home. Dude, that's the thing. Wherever we go, we are home. Oh. I love that. No more mortgage, no more debt, no more HOA, just me, my wife, kids, the dog, and the open road. Well, what about your job? COVID changed everything. We do everything off of laptops. My office, the Appalachian Mountains. Wow. Next week, Joshua Tree. Well, let me uh... yeah, check out my check out my office right now. I'm working. This is work for me, right? Look at the views. Oh, if you could see the view that I'm seeing out this back window in front of me. It's unbelievable. Hey, this is this is actually pretty cool. So I mean, it's true what he's saying. There's there's some. I'm sure they're gonna run into. Anyways, let's this. keep watching this. How do you and the wife get uh, alone time? Oh, the uh, the wife and I have never been closer. Really? We're trying to have spaghetti in every state. Every day when Nevada takes her nap at 2 p.m., it's on like Donkey Kong, and I'm getting that banana, baby. <laughs> Babe, we're getting an RV. <laughs> What are you guys making me watch here? Oh, a BT I mean, Cruiser. I've had of one of those before. Okay, buying with zero knowledge. Oh, it oh runs. My. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's watch. I'm just going to keep on watching it. Great. I just replaced the seals, the struts, the bearings, the cables, the refrigerator, the generator, the other raiders. Uh, just redid the ceiling. <laughs> The, the refrigerator, the generator. He, oh, the Romer one has a macerator and an accumulator. Don't forget that one. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. The seals. Other Raiders <laughs> uh, just redid the ceiling on the rooftop. You're golden. I mean, that sounds great. Yeah, it's great. Let's do it. <laughs> the ceiling on the rooftop. I replaced the ceiling. I don't, that doesn't even make sense to me. You've got yourself a deal. Thank you very much. You're definitely not going to have any regret. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> We got an RV! We got an RV! We got an RV! We're RV people! Woo! Tell that kids, that's the open road. Now all of a sudden he has like a tank top wife beater. It's so ghetto. Look, this is not, this is not truly typical, okay? It's <sighs> oh, too this is awesome, is it? Oh, what was that? Oh, we're almost out of gas. Wait, didn't we just fill up? <laughs> this thing must get like six miles of the gallon. Whoa! Oh, if you're oh the, lucky. the wind is throwing me all over the road. This thing's like a sail. That's scary. Hey, kids, make sure you got your seatbelts on, okay? Okay, well, just go slower, Taylor. Whoa! Wow! Look at that! <laughs> hey, there's solar panels. I wonder how those work. What does this do? What is this? What's this? What's this? How do you get this to stay? How does this door work? It doesn't latch. Ah, let me get a ratchet strap. Is this an air conditioner? <laughs> How does this work? Okay, there is an air conditioner up here. I don't know why it's not working. Wow, there is a lot of caulk up here. Like every square inch of this has got caulk on it. We really should have looked up here before we bought this thing. Where's the awning? How do we get this fridge to work? <laughs> What's the difference between black water and gray water? 
Oh, 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 never mind. I figured it out. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, babe, I think I found the awning. Oh, wait. No. No, babe, this is a slide out. We got to figure out how to slide it out. Babe, I think I found it. Oh, oh. Slide out. Slide out. Slide out. Slide out. Slide out. Oh, that's it. Oh. That's it. Okay. Well, babe. Everyone at this campground is so nice. Oh, yeah? And for some reason, they all love pineapples. Oh, no. Who do? No. They, oh. Anyway, oh the folks over at Site 21 invited us I think I've heard about cap, this so. inside yeah, joke. The... Anyways, this is it's ridiculous, but this is 100% true. I, I am shocked, especially during COVID. Everybody in their dog was, like, knocking on the door to buy RVs. Like, just, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And then people, like, we're like, we don't have that stock in. So then they'd go buy it from somebody else. And then they'd call us and be like, hey, you know, I watch your YouTube videos. You guys are very hopeful. Can you uh, teach me how to work my trailer? And it's like, uh, where did you buy it? I mean, I, I understand if you buy it from a private party and the guy runs and jumps in the vehicle and drives away, you don't have any support there. But if you buy it from a dealer that's, like, selling these to you, especially a new one, right? They should at least teach you how to turn on the fridge and operate uh, the air conditioning unit. This is the funny thing is a lot of people don't realize that air conditioners, well, they don't work unless the generator's on or unless it's plugged in and people don't even know how to plug in the trailer. Pineapple's upside down. I think we should go. We could bring some board games. It'll be fun. No, babe, no, no. They don't want to play board games. Pack it up. We got to go to a different site. Come on, oh, guys. Come on. What the heck? <laughs> All right, level with me. What's the damage? So you got yourself a used RV, huh? <laughs> yeah, I bought a used RV. Well, we'll get you taken care of. Let's take a look. So your struts are all blown out. That's going to be about a thousand. A thousand? Yep, a thousand. That'll be... Need new brake lines, <laughs> drums, and pads. That's... A thousand. You know what BOAT stands for? Everybody says the acronym of BOAT is bust out another thousand. That's that's what it stands for. You own a boat, every time you take it in, bust out a thousand. RV, we, we say RV stands for ruins vacations. Not really, but it's a funny joke. Anyway. Yeah, that'll be a thousand. Another thousand? Oh. New caulking on the roof, that's a thousand. <laughs> what? Yep, that's a little loose. New ladder, that's a thousand. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Rewire these lights, that'll be a thousand. AC don't work, that's a thousand. These vents look, are clogged, Look at that'll all be... the water damage on the roof when you pause it. You can see to the right over the speaker. Holy moly, that thing got like water seepage all the way. You can see, I love the RVs with the carpeted ceilings. When I used to go and preview them, always look for the carpeted ones because if there's a water damage, they're staining everywhere. Look along the side to the right of this white cabinet. It's like you can see water just dripping all the way. Where did they even get this RV? This is terrible. Vents are clogged. That that'll be a thousand. How car. can that be a thousand? This awning looks like Swiss cheese. That'll be about a thousand. Uh, Your generator's got a hornet's nest in it. We can get them cleared out. That'll be a thousand. Oh. <laughs> oh, Heidi's going to kill me. Now, your black water tank is no longer a tank. Did you know that, like, the going rate right now? I can't remember. I, I haven't che checked recently, but I thought I checked Camping World's going labor rate is actually 200 or 225 per hour. Insane. That's a lot of money. Anyways, we have, like, one of the lowest rates, labor rates in the state. We call in and we check. What's your labor rate? What's your labor rate? Like... I know the places that work on motorhomes, the Cummins, when you're taken in the Freightliner, I think they charge $2.99 an hour last time I checked. It's insane. So three hours is $1,000 in labor. So it's not, it's, this is not like as ridiculous as this is. One of the highest demand right now is actual technicians. If you want a job, you need a job, go get certified as an RV technician and you'll have work for the rest of your life. They made 600,000 RVs last year. Do you think the amount of ratio of how many new technicians are that are competent to work on RVs last year is like up to par with 600,000 RVs when RVs are made so poorly? Anyways, clearly, th this is one of the reasons why people spend so much money to get things serviced because it's just a supply and demand. There's not enough techs to work on things. It is just one solid block. I don't know who you've had camping with you, if it was a Brontosaurus or Chris Christie, but that thing is gummed up. It's gonna be about a thousand. I'm never gonna financially recover from this. <laughs> yeah, all right. 
I mean, we love it, but how does it run? Ah, oh, it runs great. I just replaced the transmission, the shocks, the struts, the hubcaps, the air conditioner, brand new ladder on there for you. I mean, it's pretty much good to go. It is. <laughs> Should we go for it? Should we get it? I, th I think so. All right, I brought a check for the exact amount. We'll take it. Oh my guy, this is the best decision <laughs> in your life. I promise you, you are not gonna regret. I got it! I got it! Go, 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 go forward, go forward. Oh, they gave me seven grand! I can't believe they gave me seven grand! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, that's hilarious. There's there's a lot of truth to this. It's hilarious and it's um, unfortunate and sad. But I do have a lot of people that have never owned an RV. And they reach out to us and they want to buy a $150,000 RV. And if you got the money and that doesn't, that doesn't like make a dent in your financial, overall financial world. Which some people doesn't, right? Some people like $150,000 is is not a lot of money to them if they're making good amount of money or they have a huge nest egg. If that's the case, then by all means, like go for it. That's your decisions. If you've never owned a camper, if I could give you some recommendation, if you've never owned a camper, don't go and buy the most expensive camper in the world. This one right here, like it's hilarious. It's $7,000, right? Eh, nice young couple pregnant, $7,000 in their world is probably a lot of money, but it's, you can recover from $7,000, right? Pretty, like, that's a manageable thing to do. Nobody wants to lose $7,000 or make a $7,000 mistake, but it's way better than making a $50,000 or $100,000 or $150,000 mistake because a lot of people during, like, COVID especially, it was like everybody wanted an RV. And we would have people come in where I was like, you guys are not RV people. Like, you don't even like bugs or like the outdoors you go to resorts and stay in five star you know whatever the ritz carlton so i was just like you know you don't seem like the type of person that actually would even enjoy the outdoors you know you go to the beach and go to paris and fiji and always stay in these all-inclusive resorts or whatever actually i enjoy doing resorts and all-inclusive i go to cancun and i've been on cruises and i love europe and you know me and my wife love to travel but we also love the outdoors. I love nature more than I do anything else in this world. So RVing makes a lot of sense for me. And it's like the most comfortable. It's actually kind of like taking the Ritz-Carlton out into nature. You know, you have beautiful luxuries while you're out in nature. But the difference is there is work involved, right? You have to do something with your sewage at the end. You have to fill up the water. There, there are some complexities in it. Now here at ROA, we try to help you overcome those complexities. And so it's a lot more fun. But honestly, I don't like it when people come and buy a really, really expensive trailer as their very first trailer. You know, one thing is they don't always appreciate it, too. If you go out and buy a cheaper trailer and you go through the hassle of that, then you'll appreciate upgrading to the nicer trailer. Anyways, that was, that was fun. That was an interesting video. Uh, uh, thank you, Dude Dad. That was the YouTuber that put that movie together. Six stages of owning an RV. That was hilarious. Go check out his videos. Thank you for letting us uh, watch that and make some comments on it. Hopefully that was somewhat educational. Uh, now, uh, BT Cruiser, I think that was made by Gulfstream, if I'm correct. And Gulfstream didn't make the best of trailers in general. So I will just throw that out. I mean, it was in a Ford chassis, which is not bad. Uh, and the generators Cummins, which is good. So most of the components in it were pretty good. I've had like two of those over the years. And they're decent trailers. They're not as nice as our trailers. Our trailers are way above and beyond. Now, actually, that's a $100,000 motorhome. That motorhome, brand new, probably cost uh, 100 I would say 80 to, uh, that looked like a 2006 or seven, maybe an eight that probably cost, uh, 90 to the MSRP probably was like 130 and it probably sold for like 110 or something like that. I don't I don't even know, but Hey, the last couple that bought it for seven grand, that was a good decision. And if they loved it and they enjoyed it after he had just fixed all the orators on it, well, then they can upgrade to hopefully maybe a Romer one or a pause at some point. Yeah, there you go. That's the moral of the lesson. Get something cheap, upgrade, don't go through that and learn it the hard way. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, make some comments below. This was a ridiculous, fun video um, reaction. This is a campfire reaction. Uh, stay tuned next week for the campfire rant coming soon. We're going to uh, be filming a bunch of rants out in the nature where we are right now. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.